Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We got a brand new update with a lot of twos in it. 2022.28.2. Let's take a look at it. Okay, folks, this is a small but big update. Small as in terms of amount of features, but big as in the features that they did give are uh, pretty well welcomed. So let's take a look at it quickly. 2022.28.2 dot two is what we're on here we just got it and it's got basically three i know it says five here but really th three of the the five are basically the same so basically we have three new updates there are and i'll go through them all really quickly here and then i'll go through them a little more in depth alternate routes now this is something that we've been wanting for for a long time with our navigation now other than putting in multiple stops now when we go to a destination we can see multiple routes like it just doesn't give us the one route it gives it alternate routes so you take another way if you like to avoid a highway or avoid a toll road or something like that or you can take a completely different way you have choices now it's all about choices here <laughs> and then the second one is theater mode theater mode basically when you're in the full screen when you're watching one of your uh you know youtube videos or uh, uh, Disney Plus or Netflix or anything. That's the great thing with the Teslas. Before they had like, you know, you had your time and I think your um, volume and temperature adjustments at the top, which you could do. But really to get out of the, uh, to get back into this screen here, you had to come out of the theater mode and you lose your spot. Well, you don't always lose your spot. It, it sometimes saves, but it, it, it was a bit of a pain. Now you can minimize the theater mode. You can minimize the full screen, come out of it, uh, do whatever you need to do here in the car and then go right back to it without losing anything. It's pretty seamless. Once again, a requested feature that finally came here and I'll show you how to do that. Then the uh, other three here, and they're basically the same, but they're three different games. And I'll just go through it really quickly. I won't even have to show it to your demo it because I'm not a big game person. Actually, I don't even know if I have these games installed. Um, with one of the previous updates, you can now uninstall the games. So Sonic, Cuphead, and Cat Quest. These three games are basically all the same uh, in terms of the new feature. Basically now what you can do is you can plug in a game controller in the glove box. If you've got one of the newer cards where it has the USB-A plug in the glove box right over there, you can now, now usually that's where your, your uh, Sentry Cam, you know, uh, USB drive or uh, thumb drive or something like that is plugged into. So now you unplug that and plug your game controller into it, your corded game controller, your USB game controller. And now you can do all the arcade stuff and all the game stuff using the game controller in these three games. Before you couldn't, and that's a good thing because now you can also put your game controller when you're not using it, keep it in the glove box. So it's a added feature if you're into the gaming while you're at superchargers or while you're waiting for things or your kids use the games and stuff like that. So let's go back to the ones that you'll probably use more or most of the people will, uh, alternate routing. Let's go and take a look at that one. So I've got a, a route in here now from where I am here. I wanna go camping. I wanna go to a Kilbear Provincial Park. Uh, and that's about two and a half, three hours away. So as you can see, the fastest route, when you plug it in, it, it actually shows you the route and it'll default to the fastest route right away. Uh, a new feature too, it also has a little dollar sign here. Uh, this denotes whether it's, you're using a toll road or not. If you don't see a dollar sign, that means it's not gonna be a toll road, uh, which is pretty good. And what you can do is you can obviously, like before, uh, like for a long time now, you can turn off toll roads, you can avoid it. What I actually wish it did is even if you have it turned off or turned on, it gave you alternate routes, one using a toll road and one use, uh, not using a toll road. I wish it would do that, but I played around with it. I toggled the uh, toll road uh, avoidance off and on, and it doesn't distinguish between the two. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. It does distinguish. What it'll do is actually route you without tolls or it'll route you with tolls. That's what I found, but it doesn't do both. Anyways, getting back there. So as you can see, it usually gives you, sometimes it gives you two, but it usually gives you three different options. So it'll always default to the fastest option. And as you can see, two hours and 44 minutes if I wanted to leave from here, or I could get the next one, which is three hours and 28 minutes which is a difference of about 45 minutes. And you can see it's a completely different route now, now that I've clicked on that. All you have to do is click on the bubble. Uh, it's blue if it's highlighted and it's what you're on, and it's white if it's uh, not. Uh, and as you can see, the difference there is 299 kilometers. The, the original default one was 279, so the difference is 20 kilometers. Uh, wow, it has 45 minutes for 20 kilometers. Well, it's less highway probably. And then the last one down here, three hours and 48 minutes. It's almost, uh, or it's actually more than an hour difference. And I went 333 kilometers. So that's it there. That's, it's, it's alternate routing. Uh, I mean, 
We've been wanting this for a while, and now we finally have it. And this is just one example. You, you play, play around with it, you plug in any destination, and you'll see. If you don't get this, if you don't get a choice, that means there's probably only one destination for you. Okay, so that was alternate routes. Let's move right along down to theater mode and show you this quickly. Now we gotta open up uh, all our apps here and get into theater. So we get into theater, let's choose YouTube. And as you can see, it's opening up. While it's opening up, look in the top left corner there, you can see the little icons there. So that's where it's gonna be living. Uh, up on the top here, we don't see any of the volume controls or climate controls like the heater or anything like that or air conditioning. But if you tap on anywhere on the screen, what you do see is the battery percentage in the top right corner there. And of course, when you tap on it again, there you can uh, click. Let me just click on it and see what happens. Oh, see, so it minimizes over to the right hand side where your maps and navigation or your uh, media would normally be. This screen here shows the, the, the car status and everything and that still shows. So, and then if you click it again, it'll move back over. Let's click on a video while we're doing it here. So we'll turn down the volume for uh, camping with the coals. So you can see, so this is it here. If you click on it on the top left corner to minimize, it minimizes the changes in nice fluid motion and animation there as you can see. And uh, you have controls of everything here. If you open up the media, it'll actually go away. And I'll show you that in a second. But what I will show you is if you need to do anything in the menu, you click the menu, you can choose anything in the menus here and it's, that you need to do. And then if you click on the bottom left here to dismiss the menu, it's still in the background. It's still playing. The volume is still there and everything. And um, that's good. If you maximize it now, now it goes back to maximize, goes back to full screen. Uh, let me see if it actually does work in full screen. If I go full screen. Yeah, so here it is, it's in full screen. Uh, you can click it, it minimizes, it takes away all the other boxes. It is still full screen in this panel of the of the screen, but it's not obviously the whole entire thing. But the same thing applies if you go to any, any other settings, it minimizes it uh, in the background and then brings it back up. Uh, let's come out of full screen. Uh, the cool thing too is if you just want to quickly see and you don't want to have to minimize it and all that, if you just want to see what's going on underneath, like you're sitting on a supercharger and you're charging and you want to quickly see not your percentage, because you can see your percentage up here, uh, or right there. If you actually want to see, not the percentage, because the percentage is sitting up here, but if you want to actually see the status, like how much time is left and stuff like that, if you just take your finger here, and you notice when you click on it, it says swipe down to dismiss. If you just hold your finger down and keep your finger on the screen and slowly swipe down, it opens up all this. You can see where your next destination is. You can take a look at stuff like that uh, at a quick glance while keeping your finger on, and then just swipe back up and then nothing gets interrupted. Nothing gets, um, you know, disturbed. So you can just click quickly for a quick glance, come down here and then go back up and check it out. I mean, you could do the same thing here. The only problem is this now covers what you want to see. Can you do it from here? Oh yeah, you can do it from here too. And just quickly swipe down and then swipe back up. So a little pro tip or a little hack if you want to do that while you're in the full screen mode. There you go. That is the, you know, the minimize of, of the theater. Uh, quick and easy. What I'll show you quickly there is, if other than this, if you go to the radio, if you want to see the radio for some reason while this is playing, one of your, your theater things are playing, you click on radio. Unfortunately, it won't be stuck in the background. Now it's actually gone. So now you're gonna to have to reopen uh, the whole entire theater mode again and get it there. Uh, I'm not sure if it also plays in arcade mode. Let me see, I don't, do I even have this game on, on here? Yeah, I do. Okay, so you can play in arcade mode too. So you can, it also just doesn't work for our uh, theater mode, but it also works for arcade mode. So that's it folks. That is 2022.28.2. Like I said, a lot of twos in there. That is a, a little walk through there. A small update, but a big update. Like I said, a small update and doesn't give you a lot of features, but the features it does give you are quite valuable and very useful. There you have it. If you have any questions or any comments, if you found any other little Easter eggs or little undocumented features in this update that, uh, that I missed because Tesla has a habit of doing that. They always put in features and little little things, maybe Easter eggs that they don't document. Uh, they put them in the updates. If you see any of those, put down a comment down below and let me know and I'll uh, add that to either I'll pin your comment or I'll add it to another video. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.